I'll scoot over. Phil, scoot over. We have a big announcement for you. Hey. 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 Do you want to say hi? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> we have two really big updates and announcements. Um, but also, I did 10 days off social media, so there wasn't a vlog last week, but I still filmed. So before I tell you what the two really exciting giant updates are, I want to get you caught up. The week I didn't post, I went to LA and I spoke. I'm gonna go there, speak, and then do a red eye back home so I can make it to church and teach in the morning. Oh, all I have is a large purse. It's filled with Adidas and sweatpants, and that's it. That's all I'm bringing with me. And so, as all of you know, it's gonna be the longest two days because I can't sleep on planes. So I'll be traveling all day today, speak, go right back to the airport for an overnight flight home, and then go right to church and teach Relief Society. <laughs> the kids there um because i have to teach relief society <laughs> so regardless of spending 16 hours in one day traveling and not sleeping all night i'm making great timing i'll get there before sacrament ends so that's exciting i have that going for me <laughs> we did it mommy, 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 mommy. what Within those two weeks, we did a whole lot of Halloween stuff, so I just put it in like one big montage for you. although not the biggest announcement. This is like junior announcement to the big announcement. Guess what finally came? Is that for me? Is it for me? Ah! I'm excited. This is the talk. The talk. The world famous. On a CD. Ah! This thing is my baby. This was eight years in the making. This is the talk. So when you see me traveling and speaking and you're like, oh, what do you even speak on? It's this. This is the one you want to get. So if you heard me before, it's this. If you haven't before, heard me before, this is what you'll want to listen to. This is awesome. So they're out now. 
right? They are out now. You can get this now. You can get it in stores at Desert Book. You can get it online, Amazon. Ah! This thing is all about trials. It's all about how to keep going in hard times, how to recognize God when we feel like he's not there. Or does he even care like about me? It's all about when we feel like our prayers aren't heard or when we are asked to do something we don't want to do or that we don't understand or that's really hard. So all things trials and how to keep going and how to choose God within those trials. And when we don't think he's there, this is what it's about. Yeah. Hey, also, I just barely came back from Nauvoo, Illinois from speaking. I have been looking forward to this all year because I am going to the church history sites where Joseph Smith was killed. 35. And who's the crazy one to bring me to the airport? My dad. Uh, who doesn't even really live that close. So he got up extra early. Are you so excited about this decision you made? Oh boy, you gotcha. <laughs> I made it to Peoria, Illinois. I don't know where that is either. Um, nothing to look at. I don't know why I'm trying to show you anything. There's nothing out here. Um, after an hour of problems at the rental car place, we switched companies. I'm ready to go and I am going straight to Carthage Jail and I am like freaking out. My heart is beating so fast. I'm so excited to go there. I had never felt the spirit more intense in my entire life at a place than at this place. going to kill Hiram. This is the bullet hole here that grazes the lock and that's the first one that comes uh, that you hear about. Uh, John Taylor right here, Hiram right here, Joseph right here, and Woodard Richards over here. Okay, the second bullet that comes through, the first one comes here and just misses John t uh, uh, John Taylor. Now, Hiram's right here. The bullet comes through here, hits him to the side of the face, and he falls dead here on the floor. Joseph then probably comes Hiram, and he tries to take care of Hiram. At that particular time, the door can be pushed open a little bit, and as it comes open, John Taylor, who was right here, steps back over here towards the window. He's shot in the hip as he comes over here. The people outside are hearing all the firing taking place, and they shoot and hit Hiram, or hit John Taylor in the watch, and he falls down next to the bed. The two guys are here. Joseph shot twice from the back, and he falls out the window. Yesterday. And so I typed in Burger King. The closest Burger King to me was in Iowa, 25 minutes away. And look, it doesn't even exist yet. I just drove to another state, 25 minutes away, for a Burger King that does not exist. I'm staying in this really cute bed and breakfast in Nauvoo. This is the Emma Rule room. Look at how cute. I'm 
Elder Stacy here in Nauvoo, having a great time, first trip <laughs> ever, and I'm happy. Good! Life, oh, Life is good. Life is so good. This is an honor and exciting and I can't wait. Yeah! Okay, Bob. Good morning, Adam. <gasps> He did the voice. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Bob, tell us who, why don't you say something first and then we can see if they can guess where they have okay. heard you from. Right. You'll never guess this one. It's absolutely out of the blue. You've never heard this in your life. <clears throat> Al Caraway, come on down. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta finish it. I will You're never. The next speaker on our program this morning. I'm the president. And you've won a brand new car. <laughs> so this is Bob. And this is Al. No, this is the. No one cares about. This is the Bob. No, and this is the Al. Like the, the Bob. Of Bob, tell them what you. Tell you. Tell tell them what you've won. That's right. Rice aroni, Lee press on nails, and gas X for bloating. <laughs> he is the voice. Of the price is, is right. The owl. <laughs> Why do they call you an owl? The man that needs no introduction, his picture is there. And so I'm going to do the game show style if you don't mind. Brad Wilcox, come on down! <laughs> <laughs> on our program! Thank you, Brad. Okay, I just got done. I spoke twice on the stage here in the visitor center of Nauvoo. And I've been standing for almost three hours. Now we're going directly to the airport. Cause so I gotta teach twice tomorrow. Sunday school and Relief Society, so I gotta get back. Miss the rest of the conference. But my connection flight was so close that I ran. I just, I just barely made my connecting flight. They had to reopen the door for me. <sighs> just ran the fastest I've ever run in my life. I just made it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> So for the past forever, few, it seems. Yeah, it feels like it's been a while. But a mm -hmm. couple of months, it's actually gone pretty quick. Looking back on it, but for two months, I have been creating a business, ah! a brand. I you guess. guys thought we said we were gonna have a kid. I bet. Why is it that? I don't know. If you're a girl and you say you have a surprise, an announcement it's or a like, surprise, it's like, oh, you're a baby. Remember in a few of our vlogs where we've been getting really big, big packages sent to our home and we couldn't tell you what it is? boxes. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, you can click the little information icon thing right there to see what we're talking about. I it's did. up and it's live if you go to shopcaraway.com. <gasps> Jinx. You can see it. Oh, I thought you were going to double jinx me. <laughs> tell them what it is. Tell them what your business is. So right now, you know, Caraway is a menswear brand. I've had this idea for a few years. I just always never did it. I always just pushed it to the side. Actually, she kind of brought it up a few years ago. I was like, oh, why don't you just do your own ties? And it was like a cool thought, but. <laughs> I'm so smart. You know, neckties, dress socks, gonna have watches coming soon and more products to come in the near future. So these designs, I mean, you know, I was really picky about it. I wanted to. If I wasn't gonna personally wear it, then I don't really wanna personally sell it. And the price, if I'm not gonna pay for a tie at a certain price, then I'm not gonna charge you to buy a tie from me at a certain price. And so yeah. much time, so much research, so much effort into launching his own company. And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Wait, come back, come back, tell them the fun part. So the fun part is Ben was doing oh, family yeah. history uh, a little while ago, and that's when the idea of Caraway came to use yeah. his name. Mm -hmm. um, not just for like him, but it's actually the ancestors he was inspired by. So every single tie that he has is named after an ancestor of his. 
I don't know why you forgot the coolest part. You subscribe, you get 15% off your first purchase. Say subscribe. 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 Whatever. Go subscribe. Go subscribe. 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 <laughs> Anyways, this upcoming week, I am going and speaking in British Columbia. I've never been. I'm so excited. I'll go ahead and get into this week's message and montage. And it's so funny when you look through this footage, as you can tell what was two weeks ago and what was this week because it was really warm two weeks ago and it was Arctic this past week. So whatever. I'll start the music. I'll see you next week when I come back from British Columbia. Interesting, isn't it? Because of Isaiah's prophecy for centuries, many young Jewish women had dreamed and wondered, Will I be chosen as the mother of the Messiah? But not Mary. When she was told she was going to be the mother of Christ, she tried to tell the angel, not her, because she saw herself as a handmaid. In Hebrew, handmaid translates to slave. Interesting, isn't it? How we're so quick to do that to ourselves. How we're so quick to lesser ourselves. How it's so unconsciously easy for us to sometimes deny ourselves of things because we don't think we're worthy of them, or that we're not capable of them, or surely someone else would be a better fit than us for reasons too numerable to list. Not saying that Mary necessarily did this, but interesting, isn't it? How hard it is to gap together how we see ourselves versus how God sees us. How unnatural it could be to see ourselves what God sees in us what we think we are worthy of versus what he already has strategically and profoundly planned for us. But little did humble Mary know the crucial impact she would have regardless of how she saw herself. And little do we know what we're capable of doing and becoming because we are here. So let's vow to do a better job and quit knocking ourselves down. Because regardless of how we see ourselves, God sees us for who we truly are, capable, worthy, crucial, and profoundly part of something so much better than we could ever imagine. I will go, I will do the things I want to do. Great job. All right, go. I will go, I will do. Yeah. The things the Lord commands. Yeah. <laughs>